What's up everyone on YouTube? It's Indriver KG and let me show you how the car is looking right now at this moment. So I'm not going to talk about anything in particular today, just a little update on what's been going on. So I tried to wrap the car. Well, I did wrap the car and it's probably glistening on this side of my face. I did satin orange. It was supposed to be satin orange. They sent me matte. So I still used it and here's what I got. Crazy, right? All right, so now that I got you guys a thumbnail on this side, I got some purple that I'm not really feeling like that. So that's gonna come off. I'm not feeling it. Now, is it cool if you ever wanted to see what this purple looks like on this type of car? It is pretty nice but I'm just not loving it. Maybe it's just me, it's not my style, but this is pretty cool, not gonna lie. It just sucks that it's not 100% of what I want it. So, here it is. It's a little more close up. So the issue that we have going on here, the reason why I want it satin, this is bright, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is very bright and the camera is not doing it any justice of how bright this is. Like I'm looking at it on here and then I'm looking at it in person like it's much more orangey and bright. But as you can see, all this was done with a paint marker and it doesn't stick well. Unfortunately, it rained shortly after and this is what happened. As you can see, you see that? I am literally able to rub some of that off with my finger. That's not good. That's not a good quality thing. But, I mean, it's on there for now. I don't love it. I mean, I like the idea that we got going on here. But, let me tell you some things that I did do since. So, like the old car, I went and got another that duck bill got another one there it is i didn't make another video on that because i already did that i took off all of the emblems the elantra badge that was back there and put the end in the middle um what else have i done these wheels those are track light mr 145s now i have the matching pair in the house it's just that these were from the old car so these are the Advan RS2. And I was like, you know what? I still have Michelins on those. I'm gonna use them. So, for, you know, forget that. It's a black car. So we come to this side. The car is originally black, as you saw. And that's what we got going on. This purple is okay. I don't love it. Now this rat brand is not the best. It took forever to lay this stuff down. Let me tell you, this was kind of hard to work with. Like, I got some imperfections going on. Look at that. I don't like that. You know, even here, it just didn't want to stay. Even here, look at that. That's terrible. But under the hood, it's still stock. The only thing I did was the high pressure fuel pump. Only thing I did, high pressure fuel pump, and I did just do the downpipe. So I am gonna give you guys a little bit of a POV driving experience of how that is. And I will say from owning the DCT and the manual, the manual's louder. It's better, it feels better. With the tune, I have a tune for like no bolt-ons. It's, it's really crazy. Uh, Cause it's aggressive. Like I asked Daniel for something aggressive, you know, I didn't want to be underwhelmed hopping into a stock car. Like I know how it is. It's no meth and all that stuff. But man, damn Daniel, I'm gonna be saying that a lot. Cause this this tune is something else. Let me tell you, I um, went out to Mexico yesterday, and I had some fuel cuts. So I end up not going on with the runs once i 
went into third. I snatched it in the third, and it's like, eh, eh. And once I felt it let off, I don't want to do any damage to this motor. It has a thousand miles on it. It has the braking period done, 600 miles. Did the oil change, done. I'm changing the brakes to the red stuff. Shout out to Gavin again for that video that he did. And there she is. I mean, I've been loving on it. I want to drive it a little bit more. Uh, maybe I'll get it up to 1500 miles before I do like a full on comparison of how the manual is to the DCT and how the DCT is to the manual. But right now I will say I am honestly liking the manual more, especially everyday driving. You're like, oh, I don't want to sit in traffic. I've been in traffic with this is a very, very, very soft clutch, like extremely soft, but no complaints. That's fine. It's it's been good. Now, I noticed some differences right away. Like you can see some differences from the 23 to a 22 and the 24s are out now that was i was thinking about the 24 to be honest with you but i wasn't wild like i like the way they look in the front i don't like so much how they look in the back just personal preference and um i don't know it just wasn't enough for me to say i like that one more and let me just wait those two three weeks because i knew it was coming out like shortly like I told you guys, April 1st, they were going to be hitting the dealerships, and they definitely hit the dealerships. And they have a new red color, if you guys seen that. It's kind of dark, but it's a nice it's a nice color. Um, but, I, you know what? Matter of fact, let me show you guys the picture. I'll leave it right there. Still got the paint on my finger, but it's pretty nice, right? Pretty nice. But... I don't know, I just wasn't wild. I wish they gave it radar cruise control. They did not. And you know, this was this was here. This was it was waiting. Somebody allocated this. Somebody was supposed to buy it and they backed out. And that car sat at that dealership for a month. And what's funny, before the accident happened, I was out with my boy Dave and we were trying to find a manual along with my buddy Caleb. We we're trying to find a manual just to test drive and see how it is, because I was curious to see how the manual is. How does it compare to Type R, Golf R, GTI, GR, all that stuff. And I never got that chance to drive it. Now, I did the KDM uh, meet, and I ran into one of my good friends there, and he's starting his own channel, so I'm not going to link it yet until he officially gives me the name of his channel but i want you guys to check him out he had he also is here in jersey has a manual and he let me drive that car for almost 10 miles and from there i was like okay this is this is pretty good I, I like this this is really nice so again i just don't like driving people's cars super hard you know it's, it's someone else's car so i wouldn't want to like just be ramping ramping on it so fast forward the accident happens unfortunate but fortunately we got this. So after I drove it for a bit, I'm like, wow, this is really nice. Like this is really, really nice. And then I got it tuned yesterday and holy shit. Got the downpipe put in today. Oh man, I'm in love. I must say I am in love, especially the way it goes. Like. You'll see every time I get on that gas, it's like the front of it lifts up and you can feel it. You can feel the travel of it going like this. And you're like, whoa, why does this thing pull so hard for no bolt-ons? It literally just has the high pressure fuel pump and the spark plugs. There's no reason why it should be pulling that hard. But I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain. But all in all, you guys should know this car has been a blast. And I will, in about a few days, uh, I'll be at that 1500 mark. Then I'll give you guys exactly how the 22 is to the 23. What's improved? What should you look out for? Is it worth the upgrade? It's interesting. 
very interesting. One thing I will say, there are noticeable changes. Again, I said it before, I will say it again. Very noticeable changes. In a good way, in a bad way, we'll see. Wasn't going to show you right now. And it's not exactly hooked up at the moment. But if you come into my trunk and you look right here, we got a little snow performance action right there. Yes, that is a 2.5 gallon snow performance tank. And I did run lines under the car. So, you know what that means. It's not hooked up. But we will be in about a day or so. And we're going to be right back to where we was. And I'm going to be getting numbers, getting the differences. Don't have to worry about no more trans slip. I am so happy. Like, you have no idea. That, that trans slip was killing me sometimes. Uh, and, you know, it didn't go away until I went down in the, in the tune. And then it, like, wouldn't happen. But now that we got the manual. Ho, ho. Now that we got that manual. <sighs> It's really nice. So, you guys stick around. Put that notification bell on. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you would like to know more about the car and more about me and my endeavors with this car, I have a 1987 Corvette. I am looking at getting a Saab 9.3 Arrow, the wagon. I'm thinking about it. Um, as an extra, like, just everyday car that will lug a little bit more things than I can put my tools in. And I also got some tires for this thing. Got some 265, uh, 3518. And holy shit, did that tree come out? Look at that. That is crazy. It just completely came out. Maybe it was from the earthquake that we had here a few days ago. 4.8. Shook me while I was in the car driving. Insane. Nice cherry blossom on top of that. But thank you guys for listening. I am just going to go straight to the driving clips right now.
very aggressive tune, so. It cuts a little bit, 193. But, man, I've just been loving this thing. Literally just loving it. High RPMs you get a lot of the pops when you low RPM is pretty you know Sounds insane. Now we're going to put it in Eco. Noticeably choir. quiet. It's like you're in a like, you know, newer, quieter car. The road is pretty nasty here. me giving it a little gas. Huh, let's do aggressive downshift. Oh, that wasn't very aggressive. I felt that was aggressive. You hear more turbo noises than exhaust. You can actually hear a whistle through the exhaust, which is interesting. Because the other car, you couldn't at all, even with the catalyst downpipe. Hear the intake noises. Very, very nice. not available in Eco. It was very quiet. Honestly, I've used it a few times, but you're not here for that.
That's what you're here for. That's what I was here for. <laughs> nice grabber blue.
right guys and there you have it thanks for watching look out for the next video and you never know maybe by next week or so something might be done to this something drastic like a drastic difference but thanks for watching be safe out there